Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. The Export Centers Company Limited is having a craft market happening this Independence Day, and you definitely want to be a part of it. Joining us this morning via Zoom is the Business Development Manager of the Export Centers Company Limited, Ms. Sania Karaskeru. Good morning to you. Good morning, Rokas. How are you? So far, so good. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Well, I'm really yeah, happy to have you here with us. Market on Independence Day. Yeah, I'm really happy to have you here with us to chat about it. Now, I saw that there was a, a launch of the digital side of things that took place over the weekend with TSTT. You want to chat a little bit about that before we get into the market? Sure. So, Export Centers has a ecosystem for the distribution of Trinidad and Tobago's craft, right? Mm -hmm. And it's called Craft Hub TT. So, there are three branches of Craft Hub TT. Two of them are digital and one is physical. Okay. So the two digital branches would be the e-store, which we would have launched with B-Mobile over the weekend. Then we also have a wholesale catalog for the distribution of craft. And then we also have, you know, the physical craft market. So what you would have seen on Saturday would have been the manifestation of a long journey mm. trying to create a national e-store for the distribution of Trinidad and Tobago craft. And it was finally launched on the weekend. So we're going to have registration open this week for any artisan in Trinidad and Tobago who'd wish to uh, sell their craft online, have it delivered anywhere in the world, um, online orders similar to an eBay or an Amazon. So congratulations to the team at TSTT, our partners, for launching that initiative this weekend. Okay, so is it that Export Centers company is going to be taking up that, that mantle of ensuring that you get from the supplier to the buyer or is it that how, how is that part of it working okay so tsdt is actually the platform so they ah, have okay. their e-store which is called parlor okay but within parlor there's a special section within parlor called craft hub tt which falls under export centers company limited and that section of parlor deals with handmade craft handmade products um, anything that is made in Trinidad and Tobago by hand mm -hmm. falls under the section of Prop Tab TT under TSTT's parlor. And Prop Tab TT is, of course, the responsibility of export centers. All right. And the, the Craft Tab TT, well, the, the physical aspect of it, we're having this now on Independence Day itself. And I'm, I'm curious as to why they focused on craft and handmade items. Okay, well, actually, um, Export Centers Company Limited is a state agency under the purview of the Ministry of Sports and Community Development. Mm -hmm. It was established 25 years ago with a focus on the overall development of the craft industry of Trinidad and Tobago. So Export Centers exists because of craft, because of okay. handmade craft. And okay. it's the government's agency that is dedicated to the development of the craft sector. Yeah. All right. So then uh, tell me about the craft market happening on Independence Day. So because Export Centers oversees the craft sector, the craft industry, one of our major stakeholders would be the actual craft markets that take place throughout Trinidad and Tobago. So for Independence Day, we've decided to do something a bit different. Instead of just having your regular craft market, we've decided to do a craft market of craft markets. So we're going to have all the biggest and best craft markets throughout Trinidad and Tobago come together in Adam Smith Square on Independence Day to do one big national craft market. So we're going to have up markets, we're going to have the Emancipation Village, we're going to have the Drag Brothers, we're going to have a Three Canals Black Market, we'll have the Cottage coming out of Radisson, we have 36 Cornelio, which is a group of young artisans out of Woodbrook, we're going to have um, the Ministry of Sports and Community Development will be there with the best village artisans. So essentially, we would have taken all these craft markets and brought them together under one umbrella to do the grand craft market for Independence Day. Initially, we wanted to do 60 artisans for 60 years of independence. But, you know, the response to this craft market has been so overwhelming that we now have 100 artisans in Adam Smith Square. So we're very excited about that. We're oversubscribed. And um, everybody's coming together from 12 noon to about 8 p.m. And we're going to have 
everything is made in Trinidad and Tobago on sale. And we're also going to have um, live performances by Freetown Collective. Pretty will be there. Unity, Tasa Group, and so forth. DJs, food, fun. So I'm urging everyone to come out with their family and support these local artists and support the craft markets. We even have South Market coming out of the southern end of the island. Mm -hmm. They as well will be there. So please come out, support your favorite craft market, support your artisans. Nothing is more patriotic than shopping and buying local. So we're urging everyone to come out to the avenue this Wednesday from 12 noon to about 8 p.m. All right, so what you're saying is after we watch a parade in the morning, we go home, take a shower, and we come back to Adam Smith Square from 12 noon. That's it. All right, that sounds like a plan. Are there any artisans coming in from Tobago for this? Yes, we have a few artisans from Tobago. We have about five of them. We have um, also artists, every, every, every corner of the country. We have artisans from every single corner of the country. So everybody will be represented. Nice. You can find every type of craft, handmade products. We even have artisanal foods that will be there. Nice. Um, now, so, one of the things know, people, people often complain about when they go to somebody's craft markets, like I've been to quite a few of those that you call there, and sometimes you see such repetition. So I might go to one market and I might see like five vendors with the same, almost with very, very similar products. Is it going to be that we have a, a curated variety of, of artisans or is it that we might have quite a few of people who make the same things? Just in different styles. No, everything is um everything is well distributed across all the different areas of craft. We made sure that we are covering all our bases. So, you know, we have the traditional craft of Trinidad and Tobago. So you will be able to come out there and find um items that are made from our traditional materials, you know, the mahoganies, the teak, the calabash, the bamboo. Then you're going to have your contemporary items as well, your, your soaps and your candles. You're going to have your leather, of course, because that's very Trinbegonian as well. So we have the drag brothers who are going to be down there as well, selling their leather craft. We have um, tie-dyes, batiks. We have um, sauces and, and foods and snacks and everything you can imagine. House decor. We even are going to have um, tenor pans on sale. What? Steel pans. So we'll have miniature pans as well as um, actual pans that can be purchased. Pan cases, pan stands, pan sticks. Now, so everything my, my you can next... imagine that's made in Trinidad and Tobago. My next question then is we, we could swipe at this thing because it can't be cash only because I know a ten of pan is not cash money. You ought to be able to swipe for that. I ain't walking around with that cash. Yes, of course. You can, you can use links. You can use credit card. You can use cash. Everything. Nice. Well, this is very exciting. I know I'm definitely going to be there and I look forward to it. Independence Day from 12 noon we shopping, we celebrating, we supporting local. And it's not just a supporter because it's really good quality items most times. Yeah. Of course, but, this Sonia, is made in Trinidad you. and Tobago. We are the best. And you know what? We could leave it there. We're the best. Full stop. Yeah. And we're celebrating 60. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Sanya. Thanks, Rockers. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's happening this coming Wednesday, Independence Day. We are heading to Adam Smith Square after we finish with the parade in the morning. Go home, bed change, come back down to the craft market at Adam Smith Square. It's absolutely free to enter, but you can definitely support local and shop local and buy local. We take a quick break and come back with more inside the now morning show. Thank you so much, Export Centers Company Limited.